Let's take a look at the number of bonding pair electrons and lone pair electrons for BF3. This is boron trifluoride. So we start with a valid Lewis structure, and you might notice something kind of odd. Boron only has six electrons around it, but that's okay. Boron is an exception to the octet rule, so this is the best Lewis structure for BF3. When we look at bonding pairs of electrons, these are pairs of electrons between atoms. So we have boron and fluorine, and right between it, we have a bonding pair of electrons. Same thing here and here. So we have three bonding pairs of electrons for boron trifluoride, this BF3. We don't have any lone pairs. So for BF3, there are no lone pairs. Usually we only talk about lone pairs and bonding pairs of electrons in relationship to the central atom here. But if we wanted to talk about fluorine, and they're all identical, we'd have one bonding pair and then three lone pairs. But again, normally we only talk about the central atom because that's what influences the molecular geometry for a molecule like BF3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.